just wanted to share that. Not the best session today, felt crap, and I'm not afraid to admit that. So good morning, welcome back to the video. I hope you're doing well. Today is episode five of the Road to Valencia marathon training series made in collaboration with Saw Running and Coros. Today, I have a Tuesday morning threshold. On Tuesdays, I do double threshold days. This is something I've been doing for probably around six months now, um, especially when I'm training for the shorter stuff, the 5, 10K, I really like threshold training. This morning, I have a 10 kilometer threshold and I have decided to do this workout on the track. So 25 laps um, in total, purely to show off the track mode feature on the Coros. I use the Coros Pace 2, by the way. Um, last night I put a poll on my Instagram, should I use the Puma Fast R that was in the previous marathon video, or should I use this Mizuno shoe? And the Mizuno one, 73% of people on my Instagram um, picked the Mizuno, so I'll be using that shoe today. If you don't follow me over on Instagram, it's the same handle as my YouTube channel, Ben is running. And yeah, I'm gonna be putting this shoe around 25 laps of the beautiful Canvey Island down in Essex, which is the only track that I know of that you can run on for free. I followed by 10 by 800 meters this evening for my PM threshold session. So yeah, hope you enjoy this one. If you have any questions about my marathon training so far, then please drop them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But yeah, let's jump in to a marathon training session down on Canvey Island. First things first, stopped off at Starbucks. I'm a pumpkin spice latte boy myself. Vanilla ice latte? No, it's not an ice latte. No, I've actually a regular, got for a regular a hot, hot one. one it's, not a, it's not a pumpkin spice latte. I think if I said, if I was drinking that, then people would unsubscribe to the channel. But yeah, blonde flat, <laughs> flat white is my coffee of choice. There's no milk in the house, so needs must. I think it's a bit hot at the moment. So we just made it down to Canvey Island beautiful track. This is where I'm going to be doing my threshold this morning. Watch is ready. Just going to go do a three kilometer warm up and then we'll get stuck into the 10k at threshold in these sexy shoes. Three k warm up. Warm up done. All done. My watch was set in miles, so I'm not sure if I did um, 3k or not, but roughly about that. I was running on the treadmill last night, so I had to change my watch to miles. I'm not feeling super great today, I'm not going to lie. Some days you feel good, some days you don't. But, ready for this secret weapon today. Wow, the audio here is terrible. It was quite windy. I've ordered a new microphone. Hopefully that will come for next week's episode. Apologies. What I'm trying to say here is this beautiful pink singlet from Saw Running is a collaboration with Ben Johnson, who's an Instagrammer who just hit 100k last week. So if you're watching Ben, congratulations. Um, if you'd like to pick up a Saw vest, these are the best by far, super, super lightweight. And you can use my discount code in the link in description and get 15% off for the duration of this training block. Thanks for bearing with me in terms of the audio. As I said, new microphone ordered for next week. Okay, so the secret for track workouts is track mode, literally select what lane you're in. So today I'm gonna to be using lane one and just press start, wait for the GPS and heart rate and then you're ready to go. 100% battery today, not quite 10% like last week. So this workout is a threshold pace, which can be anything for me between 3.08 per kilometer all the way up to 3.25, just depends on how I'm feeling on the day. I expect somewhere to be in between um, those two ballparks. But yeah, gonna get stuck into it now. Hopefully it's a good one. Oh, 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 
like it's relative to the normal. What time did you do it in? 33.57. So, yeah, not even marathon pace today, which is a bit worrying, but... Ooh, it's quite windy though. Very windy. And my training volume is pretty high at the moment, so... Yeah, another 10k banks on this evening. Ooh. There we go, feel like crap. But I'm going to get this warm down done, another 3k. Running around in circles. Change back into them shoes? Yeah, swap back into these. Yeah. All done? All done. Well done. Yeah. Let's go get some lunch. Definitely. So you just come to some lunch, this is where we're going. Toppers and toast at Leon C. Last time I came here was my birthday. Now Lee's gone for the Biscoff French toast. I've gone for spicy eggs and a smoothie. Look at that, beautiful. Back on the sofa. Whew. That was a real tough one today, I'm not gonna lie. Um, out of 10, probably around four out of 10 in terms of how good I was feeling. Um, but that is the reality of marathon training. Not every session feels good. I think it's important to share that throughout my marathon training and throughout training in general, I often don't feel like exceptional. Um, you're training at a really high volume. Last week I ran 180 kilometers. Um, I did 36 kilometer long run at the weekend. Now I'm not trying to boast about, oh look at me, how much mileage I've done. Um, but it does have a toll on, its bo on my body. I feel tired, my legs are not as poppy and as sort of, you know, efficient as they normally would be. So let me just quickly jump on to Strava and show you some of the training from today. So the warm down and warm up, I chose not to use the track mode on the Coros, just so I could show you a bit of a comparison between what it looks like um, and the accuracy in GPS. The laps will sort of overlap each other, whereas on track mode, it looks like just one continuous line and that means it's really accurate when you're training your splits come up at the right time rather than being 10 to 20 meters out every single lap um, so that's always handy a really good feature and i made sure i stopped it as i crossed the line and i got 10.02 kilometers now if i was to do that on my old watch i'd have probably had closer to 11 kilometers for a 10k workout so it's good to get some accurate stats but yeah, as I was saying, 323 per kilometre today, by my standard, is pretty average to poor, if I'm totally honest. Now, I know a lot of people out there would be like, oh, 3358 for a 10k, that's incredible. Um, which I'm not denying it, I I'm really happy with that. A few years ago, 34 minutes would have been like, I don't know, an unachievable time to run for 10k. And now it's at my threshold, so... If I look at the bigger picture, I'm proud of where I've, I've come from, but in, in general, in terms of how my training is going at the moment, 323 is nothing special for me, and the way I was feeling today, more on how I was feeling, it felt real, really tough. But anyway, got the session done, wasn't feeling great, I've got another session this evening, 10 by 800 meters, um, down at the track with the boys. That one always seems to go a little bit better, even if my morning session is a bit crappy. Um, just mixing with people and having other people to jump in in sessions really really helps me So yeah, if you've not tried going along to an athletics club or running club, I'm a big advocate for it um, But yeah, just wanted to share that not the best session today. Um, that's some real content today I felt crap and I'm not afraid to admit that we move on I still get the training effect despite it being a little bit slower than usual and come race day You will be you know, hopefully you still see the benefits of a bad session It's a lot better than the session that never got done. Okay, so it's time for session number two I've just spent the last hour two hours chilling out putting the legs up resting making sure I drink um, plenty of water fluid stay hydrated gonna use the pumas on the track tonight um, the Mizunos this morning felt a little bit soft on the track. Um, I think my legs just feeling a little bit heavy. Sometimes I don't feel so great in the morning and I feel better in the evening. So yeah, we're going to go down to the track um, with the Chancellor boys, see how we get on. I've got uh, 10 by 800 meters at threshold pace again. It's quite a nice workout with a minute um, recoveries. It's definitely one I would recommend for people that are training for sort of the 10k half marathon distance. Um, but yeah, excited to give these a go again. After the first run last week, I really enjoyed them. Super bouncy. Um, and again, for the warm-up, stick with the trusty Nike Invincibles. But yeah, I'm going to head down to the track, get the second threshold session done for the day. And as always, I'll let you know how it goes. Just 
laid it down to the track for session number two. Unfortunately, not really allowed cameras on the track at Chelmsford just because of the number of younger athletes down here. So I will let you know how this one goes to wrap up this video. A double threshold day training for Valencia. Hope you've enjoyed it so far and I will see you in about an hour's time. So the session went really well, much, much better than this morning. I think I averaged about 305 per kilometre for the 800 meter reps. It's actually a few days after the video was shot um, and I've since completed the full week of training. So week five, um, another 180 kilometres, which is my highest ever um, sort of training volume that I've ever done. If you want to see any of the other training that I've been doing across the week, across the training block, then it's all available on Strava and you can follow me over there. Yeah, I just wanna say a big thank you to Saw and Kuros for their continued support on the series, but also a big thank you to you guys. Um, the feedback so far has been great and I'm glad that you're enjoying following along. As I said in the intro, if you have any questions relating to my training, um, then please drop them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire. That's the end of week five, episode five of the Road for Two Valencia. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.